35 metres above me is the Seven Sisters Road. I'm in a tunnel. It's nothing to do with trains. It's nothing to do with sewers. It's to do with power. Blue hoardings on construction sites are a familiar sight in London, but how often do you scrutinise what they're there for? Whilst Crossrail gets a whole TV series made about it, there are other equally high-profile engineering projects taking place deep underground London streets. The National Grid have been busy building 32 kilometres of new tunnels, and they stretch from Wimbledon in the southwest, coming up through to Kensal Green, where there's a junction with the tunnel that runs between Wilsdon all the way down to Hackney. They connect up with existing substations, as well as new ones that are being constructed, like where we enter the system here at Highbury. So this is the 400 kV switch hull. This is where the uh, 400 kV cables will connect into, which will then distribute the power through other circuits um, to either towards St John's Wood or towards Hackney substation. 400,000 volts, that's a lot of power we thought. I wonder if there's a huge transformer around here somewhere. And yes, there it is, outside, waiting to be installed. I'm currently standing where this 139 tonne transformer will soon be present inside the transformer bay. The 400 kV transformer transforms the voltage from 400,000 volts to 132,000 volts which will eventually connect into the substation. There's a whole bunch of equipment rooms, racks and new cabling that make up this new substation, all part of the £1 billion that's being spent on this project. But then Stuart took us to see the thing that we were obviously most excited about, the new tunnels deep underground. And the best way to get around the new tunnels is on what National Grid called a tug, this electric vehicle. But why, I asked Stuart, does all the work need to take place? National Grid had existing infrastructure which was installed in the 1960s. So in order to maintain security of the supply, if National Grid hadn't embarked on this project, the old assets could potentially have failed in the future, which could in turn have caused power outages across London. And tunnels are the best option due to space constraints in the capital. Traditionally, um, power is transmitted across the UK using overhead lines, which you see sometimes when you're driving up and down the motorway. Um, these are the structures that are up in the air that transmit the electricity. In London, because land's so scarce, you don't really see any of these electricity pylons or towers. So all the cables are generally buried under the ground, under the roads, under the canals. When the work is complete and the equipment goes live, ironically, the lights will then be taken out and these tunnels will be in darkness. Oh, and maintenance will then be done by bike, with the engineers cycling along them instead. Thanks to the National Grid for having us. We do love a tunnel under London. For a bit more history, then check out this video, Tom Scott's channel and video which he's made at Londonist. We love his stuff. That's it from another tunnel. Thank you.